Hello again. This is a Craftsman YS4500 lawn tractor. I picked this up probably three months ago off of Craigslist and believe it or not it was free. The individual just didn't want it anymore and so I was there to pick it up. Now before you get too excited this had a multitude of things wrong with it as I discovered once I got it home and started looking at it. But, but the engine ran great and uh, all in all I'm quite pleased on everything on the unit now. All the issues uh, have been sorted out and resolved except the, the last one I'm working on today is the steering. And I've heard this from a couple different people now, and I agree with them. The steering on this particular unit is extremely heavy. My next door neighbor has a tractor very similar to this, and he dreads having to cut the lawn just because how heavy the steering is. Now I've greased and lubricated everything on the steering system, and it's still extremely heavy. So what I, I've already done the left side. The, the left side has been modified. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the king pins out. If I can turn this here. I'm taking the king pins out and replacing the thrust washer right here with a thrust needle bearing. I'll show you the process I go through to take that apart, install the thrust uh, needle bearing, and actually the biggest challenge of this whole project, well, let me, I'll come back to this side. If you look real close here, you don't see any uh, cover at the the base of that uh, axle. Now if you come over here, turn the wheels back the other way, you'll see this part right here, if I can get, this part right here I've added and what that does is it acts as a shield to try to keep dust, dirt, grit and grime out of that needle bearing. That was the hardest part of this whole project. I'm gonna Take that front wheel off and you don't need to see that. You know how to take the front wheel off. And I'll get the king pin ready to drop out and then I'll pick it up from there. Okay, I've got the tire removed. Uh, to get this king pin down, there's a clip on the top. And then there's a large washer. I've already taken them off and cleaned them up just so it's easier to see. So I'll set those down here. And it's really handy to have an extra jack to support this while you're working on it. So I'll drop that down. And the king pin comes out. There's a bushing that is on the bottom of this axle. And here is the old thrust washer right here. Get this off. Maybe not. And there's the old thrust washer right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up and then I'll come back and show you how that uh, new bearing goes on here. And it's nothing more than just sliding it on the kingpin. But I'll be back as soon as I get this cleaned up. Alrighty. So there's the lower portion of that thrust bearing. And like I said, that's as difficult as it is right there. It just slides on.
There is the needle bearing that just goes on like that and the upper portion of the needle bearing like that. But like I said before, the, the most difficult portion of this is making this shroud to go around this to keep the dirt and grime out of that needle bearing. There, I had a couple different thoughts on how to do this. I tried putting some shrink sleeving around this. That didn't work. I thought about some O-rings, that didn't work. And what I finally came up with I'm coming, I'm coming. Is I have some of these old parts from back when I was doing uh, gardening and stuff like that. And this section right here fits perfectly up around that. And what I did on the other side is I notched it to fit around the axle so it, it indexes on the axle and doesn't turn. And then I figured out how far down I had to cut this. And it's about four threads up. And I'll show you what it looks like after I get finished. It just worked out well. And so that's what I went with. And it, it, it shrouds the bearing nicely. And I'll be back as soon as I get this cut and you can see what it looks like. Okay. I took this plumbing fitting. It was like that. And I put it on my bandsaw and it just happened four threads down. I cut it in two. Then I measured the width of this front axle and I notched it out like this. And what that does then, it, it comes up and just comes around this axle and indexes right there and it cannot turn when that king pins back up there. And let me see. You'll see that this fits nicely around that bearing to protect it. So what I'll do now is I'll put this back together and let you, well, let's see here. I guess I'll let you just stick around and, okay. One thing about this camera I don't particularly care for is that it eats batteries like there's no tomorrow. Fortunately, I just have to look at the viewfinder one that said insufficient battery. <clears throat> so where were we? I was putting this back together. The bearing is in place on the king pin. My, my shield, shroud, or whatever you want to call it, that's in position around the axle. And we install the king pin. Like that. Certainly did grease us. Install a washer and clip. A pair of pliers. It's that easy. Now what I'm going to do is once it's back down on the ground is I'm going to take some liquid tape and I'm going to coat the upper section of this to seal it to keep water and dirt out of that bearing. Now just my opinion, if you decide to try something like this and you don't put some kind of shield on this, I think that bearing is going to get destroyed real quick. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tire and all the other accessories back on this. You don't need to watch that kind of stuff. And then I'll show you when it's back down on the ground. All righty, I've just finished applying a good fillet of that liquid tape around the entire circumference of that shield. And that should hopefully keep that bearing nice and clean. I've done both sides and I'll set this back down and let that cure. Now unfortunately it's raining really hard so I can't try this. Well everything is back together and it's back down on the floor. And let me see the steering effort. I don't know. I'll have to wait until I get outside and try it while I'm mowing. Hopefully it'll be a lot better than it was before. I will include a link in the description for the bearings that I used. And there is that liquid tape. I've used this for a lot of things. And it's quite aggressive and seems to hold up pretty good. So that's it for this project. Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. And have a nice day.